Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the roller assembly on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to access the bottom of the refrigerator at the front. Now there are a couple of ways that we can do that. The easiest is to be able to pull the refrigerator forward and tilt it back far enough that you can get enough room under the front to remove some screws that secure the old roller brackets in place. Now, before we attempt to do that, we will need to remove all of the items in the refrigerator and we'll also want to unplug your refrigerator before we start that repair. Now, we've taken the liberty of laying this refrigerator on its back to give you a better view of how to do this repair. It is not necessary for you to do that at home. It's actually preferable not to. So what will happen is the oils that are in the compressor will tend to run into the refrigerant lines and you run the risk of damaging your sealed system by laying it on its back. If you've had to do that or had to lay it nearly horizontal, we suggest that you stand the refrigerator up for at least 12 hours before you plug it back in. Now our next step will be to remove the grill at the front. So take a thin putty knife, go into the center area of that, just pop that up enough that you can put your fingers under it, and then you can pry that off. Now to replace the Roller on the left hand side, we'll start by removing a single screw on the front and then two more on the left at the bottom. Now typically these are in there fairly tight and they may need to have some uh, penetrating fluid put on them first to loosen them up. Then lower that roller assembly away from the cabinet and discard it. Position the new one in place. And the first screw that we'll install is the one through the face. And we won't tighten that up yet until we have the two on the side in place. And snug them up. Make sure that the leveling leg is turned all the way up until you have the refrigerator back in place. You can then put the grill back on. And we'll start by putting the two ends in first, as you'll note that there's a little tab on either end that will hook into those oval openings. So flex it in the middle. Tuck in both ends and then press the center down. Now we can stand the refrigerator back up. Now that we have the refrigerator back on its feet, we'll make sure that we lower the leveling legs and get it level. And if you've had it tilted any more than say 30 degrees, you'll wanna make sure that you do not connect the power until that refrigerator is set for six to eight hours to make sure that there's no uh, lubrication that's gotten into the coolant lines. Once we've done that, you can reconnect the power and your repair is complete.